Google Interop with Cisco Video Endpoints. Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. I would like to give you a short introduction in our Interop solution with Google Meet. So how it looks like on a WebEx Desk Pro endpoint to join natively via WebRTC uh, Google Meet conference. So to get started, let's do as usual. Let's push the green button uh, in the on the endpoint, I have to admit the user, the new user joining my endpoint, and then we can see okay, there have been a few friends of mine waiting to participate in the demo. So you can see how it looks like with multiple participants on the device. After joining the call, you have a few options. You can uh, then like stop the video and resume the video again you have the option to share so in this case we are not sharing directly from the endpoint but we get a url presented we can join and then share our content from there so let's put it away again and then we have the scripts available which we have also uh, on the endpoint already to allow us to customize the endpoint the way we want. We'll have a look at that a little bit later as well. Then uh, we can see the layout is a uh, grid view. So we see all participants equally or as good as it is possible equally on the screen. This cannot be changed. We can see the participant name. We can see that they are all muted in this case. And we can also see incoming chat messages, for example. So that's quite cool. So we can also see what's going on in the meeting interactively even though we may not be participating with our laptop itself. Then let's have a look how content sharing looks like on the Desk Pro. So somebody is sharing content. It is Roland sharing content here in this case as well. So we see the content popping up on the left hand side of the screen. On the right hand side we can still see all the participants of the call uh, with video and audio. So we have seen incoming content sharing. Let's say we would like to share some content from our end. So I have a look at the URI shown here on the display. I'll go ahead and enter this URI in my browser. I already prepared it in this case. I'll say share. I'll close this again and then it will throw me an error message but I can then go ahead and still say sharing and if I move over to the part I would like to share I can also see my content there going on I have on the top here stop sharing and again it shows the same way as the incoming sharing was presented uh, um, to me say okay stop sharing and then it will remain on the screen on the top left you see here that the content is still being shared or still visible to me but it's not presented to the to the other participants anymore and if I would like to remove it completely I just say leave the call and then I'm back in the previous view. So you may have seen that it is not possible to share HDMI or USB-C input directly into the Google Meet intro meeting with WebRTC. But what we can do is we can use a script written by a colleague of ours to actually use the content uh, connected to the USB-C or HDMI port and send it via the video channel to the other participants. So you can see that I'm now as a picture in picture participant in the video channel and I can also demonstrate content like this. So this script doesn't only allow me to be on top of the content, I can even go ahead and say where on the content I am. I can also say like how transparent I am and I can define use some presets available here and I can go ahead and deactivate the uh, immersive share again and as to be expected I can also go ahead and end the call to finish the interop 
meeting I had here. And not to forget, I can also join the meeting by using my HDMI camera connected to the video endpoint and my USB microphone connected to the video endpoint. There we go. So I can uh, benefit from external devices connected to the video endpoint. So I'm not limited to the built-in camera and the built-in audio of the endpoint itself. I can use peripherals I have connected outside the video endpoint. So just to prove here, that's how I'm sharing the video right now. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope it was of use, interesting for you and uh, looking forward to see you next time. And yes, please subscribe.